everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to be making Christmas coal today. So I don't know how many of you have ever made Christmas coal before, but it's one of my favorite gag gifts that I like to hand out um, for the holiday season. Um, so this is really easy to make. You only need a few supplies. Um, those of you who have done some cooking before, you can certainly do this really easily. Those of you who are a little less experienced may want to get a parent or someone to help you out a little bit with some of the um, stuff on the stove. But in any case, here's a rundown quick of the supplies. You're going to need your chocolate sandwich cookies. And I also want to tell everyone that I got all of these at Aldi pretty inexpensively, so just bear that in mind as well. A bag of marshmallows, and you're going to need a stick of butter. Not the whole stick, but you know, that's how it comes. And I'm going to recommend unsalted because sometimes if you add salted butter to things, it can kind of sway your dessert a little bit. Okay. So also I'm going to add in at the end of the video, I am going to post the recipe in the comments. When I get started here, um, we're going to make half the batch, I think, because to be quite honest with you, um, the library staff can only eat so many goodies. We don't want to over, um, overdo it for the, the holiday season. These are very sweet. So if this is your thing and you like cookies and cream, you're going to love this. Okay, so I'm just going to push my sterno and pot to the side for a moment, and I'm going to add my sandwich cookies. Normally, you're going to add um, the full box, but we're going to do, I think, just a little less. Just in case. And I also want to tell you guys that this is one of my favorite things to, to go ahead and crush cookies. It's a wonderful way to get out your aggression and to like have a great end product at the end. So I have my mallet here, but you can use a rolling pin or something like that. So if you're frustrated with Corona, just take it out on the cookies. So you're going to crush these guys up until they are mostly powder, but I also want you to add a little bit of like texture to them because we want to make sure that we can see our coal pieces you know to have a little bit of like chunks in there so if they're not perfectly smashed that's okay to the side and we're going to bring our pot back here. We'll see how fast this goes because that's what I want to add to that this is much like if you're making Rice Krispies, you do want to work relatively quickly with your products because marshmallow and, and all of that gets sticky really quickly. And don't be afraid to add a little bit extra butter if you find that everything is getting just a little bit too gooey and sticking to the side of the pot because you don't want s'mores <laughs> before you start. So I'm just going to add two tablespoons of butter to my pot. Are cooking. So we're going to want to make sure that this guy is melted down. And then we're going to add our marshmallows. And I'm going to do about half the bag, I think. And from there, you're going to want to stir quickly. And I'm just going to stand up so I can keep an eye on my pot here. And I've done this before. If cookies are not your thing, with Rice Krispie Treats. Those are really delicious. A little less sweet. And what I usually do is instead of adding the cookie bits like we're gonna do now, I do um, 
the Rice Krispies and I add some black food dye so that um, we can get that coal color that we're looking for. Once your marshmallows are gooey, I don't know if you can kind of see what's happening here on my spoon, you're going to take your cookies and you're going to start slowly incorporating them into your mixture here. Ooh, that really is starting to look like cookies and cream, I'll tell you. I'll let you have a look in a minute. And you're going to continue to stir that. And if for some reason you don't find that this is dark enough to your liking, and you want your coal to be less marshmallowy, of course you can go ahead and add in some food dye. But I don't think we're going to need to today pretty dark as it is. Okay, so we're going to turn this off. Push him to the side. And I have my hot pad here, so we'll put this down. And then what I've done next is I have a baking sheet here. And here's where I divert a little bit from the recipe. They're recommending that you put this into a pan and you like leave it pressed in and cut it into squares, but I don't think that that's fully getting your coal shape. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try this with a glove here and hopefully we won't get too sticky. If not, we're going to do the spoon here. Okay, but if you can kind of see here, we have a black kind of mixture here. So we're going to get our spoon and we're going to put little dollops of this mixture onto a baking sheet with some parchment paper because that's going to help it so it doesn't stick. Let's see what you can see there. And if you can kind of see what I'm doing, you can kind of plop them down here. And I have like my gloved hand here so you can mold them a little bit so if they're spreading apart a tad bit, kind of stick them back together. And you're going to have these little cute coal dollops in and hand them out to your, your family there. We've been known in our family to gift our grandma with a little bit of coal. Keeps her spicy. Because you got to tease, right? Just a little bit. But this is a really fun kind of holiday gift to hand out and also just kind of keep out on the table. I did a trial run of these the other night and my brother told me that I'm in competition with Rice Krispie for new dessert. Fortunately, I didn't think of the recipe. So I can't take full credit for that. But I do agree. It was pretty good. So you're going to continue scooping. And I also want to add, and I don't remember if I did before, like the more marshmallows you use, the more gray that your mixture is going to be. So if you're a person who really likes the marshmallows, you're going to want to consider getting that black food dye to make sure that you get the color that you want but it is very sweet on its own, so you might not miss it if you decide to go uh, forego some of those marshmallows there. And I think we've got about one more left. So as you can see, you can kind of really fill your pan here very quickly, and you get a lot of coal pieces here and I like to leave them out on the pan so that they have a little bit of a chance to set so that way you can kind of just pick them up and they can be bagged really easily if you want to do that and put a, like a little ribbon on them and they say better luck next year or something fun like that but yeah definitely a quick one that you can try definitely um, 
Christmas Day or whenever you've got a chance. And I hope that you guys check this out and enjoy your holiday season. Take care, everyone.